1943. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. 1968, Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man I suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer, Russell Adler. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Something that will affect the free world. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adler. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular, most likely illegal. If the press gets a hold... What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, Rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalea, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, well don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on.
Bell. Welcome to West Berlin. We've got a job to do. Mark. Adler. Bell. Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. The CIA and the DOD have tapped on their inside sources for anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on Perseus. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. And we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Got it. Bell, this is where you come in. As ex-KGB, it was a risk to bring you on, but we needed to think like them. And we need that mindset again. Head to the evidence board. Trace our steps through Denang. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. That's it. Seems we'll be on this one. Thank you, Agent Azalea. To need to process some of these old negatives. You can hit that whenever you're ready. The dark room's mostly functional. <laughs> Just waiting on a couple more deliveries to finish it up. How are things, Bell? You and I. It's entirely possible. I have a long collaborative history with other intelligence services. Our paths have likely crossed at some point. In this case, quite. I understand you may have first-hand knowledge that could help us. It must be difficult, Bell. I can't claim to have experienced what you have. Perhaps going over it again could be... therapeutic. Well, I'm keen to hear about your time in Indochina. So close to Perseus. Not nearly as much as I'd like. I have experience with others like Perseus. They're all chess players. 
I enjoy predicting the next move. We'll talk again soon. Bell, you're looking a little pale. You up for this? Good. You've just moved up on my favorite team member list. Right past Lazar. Congratulations. We're placing key intel up there. One for each mission. Forming connections. I want a red line right to Perseus. You just met her yesterday, right? I don't know. Why don't you ask her? Maybe you two have a special rapport. Keep it professional, Bell. It'd be good for Park to hear it from us firsthand. Maybe we have overlooked something. The safe house? I've done time here before. Years back. This go-round? Just a few days now. Ask Lazar, he can't get enough of safe houses. We've done some jobs together. Good guy, you'll like him. He keeps things light. Don't be a stranger. Now as the host, I always get the last word. Take a look at Denang on the board. Bell. <laughs> this one is luxury. Fresh air, lots of room. Try being squeezed into a 500 square foot shithole with five other people. Long drive into Berlin is worth it. Believe me. Working with the CIA over a decade. On their actual payroll? Going on about five years. I was born in D.C. Parents moved to Israel when I was a kid. Dual citizenship has its advantages. Yeah. I landed in the Israeli Defense Forces out of university. Did a tour there. After that, the Mossad. That's when I first started working with the CIA. And occasionally, I'm boss man Adler over there. You probably know more than me. I guess it's something the top brass wanted to keep to themselves. Enough talk. <laughs> Sims, heavy pack. Hell yeah. One sec. Back in Vienna, you know. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let it be like good. I need to move a little. I'm so the pace come on push <laughs> <laughs> 